Hello everyone, my name is Vannery and welcome to my new tutorial. Today we are going to create a cool 3D text animation uh, with some uh, cartoonish look to it. And it is very very easy to do. First thing first, I want to mention that I learned this technique uh, from uh, this uh, video. Uh, but I found some adjustments we can uh, make uh, to this technique. So today we're going to learn how to make it. And for the wiggly text animation, I actually uh, learned it from a very old tutorial of mine. With this technique, this text is uh, fully editable, uh, which means like, let me just log this uh, preview and I'll go back to the text comp. So now, as you can see, uh, I can change the text here and uh, all the effects we created will apply to the new text and it will work uh, perfectly. So it's going to be a very fun tutorial, so let's get started. Alright, so first thing, let's create our uh, new composition, we can call it as usual master comp. Let's make it a full HD uh, composition. Uh, for the duration you can set it to 1 minute and for the background uh, you can leave it in black. And let's start with the tutorial. So first uh, we will create uh, the text comp. Alright, for this Let's create some nice uh, text. For this tutorial, I will use a font named Impact. And let's make sure the all caps function is turned on. Now let's open the paragraph tab. Make sure the paragraph is aligned to the center and let's say uh, let's say we can enlarge this text to 250 and let's adjust the leading something like this and finally let's align it to the center of the cone now let's create the wiggly animation to this text it's uh, very easy to do so let's open the text layer select the text and first we need to add the first property we want uh, the text to change so in our case it will be a, a position because we want the text to move up and down the next one we need to add to this animator another property which will be rotation because we want the text to you know rotate from side to side and now we need to set the change we want the text uh, to make. So let's say I want the text to make a 10 degrees rotation and I want it to go uh, down for 20 pixels. And now to wiggle this change that we created for the text, we need to add the wiggle selector for this one. So let's add the wiggle selector. And that's it. We created the wiggly animation for this text. Very easy to do. We can close it. And now let's pre-comp this uh, text. So right click on it, pre-compose, and we can call it text comp. Make sure both are selected and hit OK. Great. And then the next thing we need to do is uh, we need to create the texture for this uh, layer for this text so we will do it in a new precom as well so let's press a control or command n to create a new comp and let's call it texture comp and leave all the settings as it is and click ok and now to create a nice texture, you can actually add uh, any texture that you want in this uh, pre-comp, but uh, in our case, we will create a, a new texture from scratch in After Effects, and we will do it using a solid layer. 
let's uh, call it a main make sure it's a uh, comp size and now for the color let's uh, make it some uh, orange color something like this and press ok now let's create a nice stripe animation for this we can do it using the grid effect so let's apply this effect to this layer and uh, make sure the blending mode is on normal so we can see both of the colors and now let's change the color here to some uh, brighter color like yellow something like this and now um, to create the stripes we need to use the width and height sliders like two sliders to you know to adjust the design of it so the first slider will be we need to set it to 2000 all right and the first slide and the, this slider uh, let's adjust it let's say let's for now let's set it to 200 and now let's adjust the border to uh, adjust the width of the stroke let's set it to 120 great and now we can move the anchor point of this uh, grid to the side uh, so move it while holding the shift key so it will move in a straight line like this move it out of the frame and if you are seeing uh, the other side of this uh, grid so all we need to do is we need to scale the width of it so let's set it to 2200 Great, and now let's animate this uh, anchor point. So make sure you are at the beginning of the timeline and let's bring this uh, value down, bring this uh, anchor point down. So let's use the values from here. Let's say we will start from this point and create the first keyframe. If you press U, you will see the keyframe you created. Now let's say, let's go to the second number 10 and bring this up, All right? So you can uh, change the value using the shift while holding the shift key. It will move in bigger increments. So yeah, and we get something like this. Great. And now you can leave it as it is, but I prefer to uh, use the fast box uh, blur effect to make it, uh, you know, to make it look like a gradient, some kind of gradient. Let we can set it to 10 or maybe 20. Yeah, I think it looks very good. Great. Now let's go back to our master comp. Yeah, let's go to the project panel and bring the texture comp we just created to our master comp. And now to apply this texture to the text, all we need to do is we need to set this layer to use the alpha channels of the text. Free comp. And uh, with this, we have this cool a texture for the text so as I said earlier you can go here and add any texture you want and your text will be in this texture great the next thing we need to do is to create the 3d look for the text for this we need to duplicate this uh, text pre-com and let's bring it down and now we need to apply some effects to it to make the 3d look so first let's uh, bring this layer back on good and now the first effect we will add it's called minimax so let's apply it to the and now we need to set the channel of this effect to use the alpha and the color uh, channels of the text layer of the text precom and now uh, if we will uh, change the radius of it it will grow like um, like we are adding a, some kind of stroke uh, let's set it to 30 for now but in our case we don't want it to grow from uh, all the sides we want it to grow only horizontally all right next we want to add the transform effect to add some angle to it so let's search for the transform effect and we want to add this effect above the minimax effect 
and we want to change the rotation first to minus let's say 30 now we will add another transform effect but this time we will put it below the minimax and for this transform effect we will set the rotation to 30 and while doing this we created the angular uh, like the 3d look you see if we want to use this ones so we got some you know straight look to it all right and the next thing we need to do is to move this part down for this we will use uh, once again the transform effect we will uh, put it uh, above the second transform effect and this will allow us to move it you see using the anchor point of this effect so just make sure you can zoom in and just make sure you're not moving it uh, too much to the you know down you can move it uh, like this so i'll set it to 930 great so to finish things up we want to color this uh, 3d look we created and we can do it using the fill effect so let's apply it below all the effects we have here and in our case let's uh, use some dark uh, orange something like this of course you can use any color that you want yeah and with this we have finished created the 3d look and it looks very very nice especially with the texture we created and the next thing we want to do is to add some uh, stroke to it and we will do it by adding a stroke effect to this uh, precom so we can right click on it go to layer styles and add a stroke great now we can open the stroke make it black and uh, you can make it uh, thicker let's say let's set it to five and uh, let's op copy this effect this layer style all right so select it and then press ctrl or command c and if you want you can uh, add this uh, black line to the 3d shape we created it will look uh, much better so select the this precom and press ctrl or command v and now we got some uh, cool strokes to the 3d text we have here and now we can improve the look even more by adding uh, some roughing edges effect to it to make the edges of this text looks more uh, grungy so for this then we will create a new adjustment layer and now let's search for the roughened edges effect and apply it to the adjustment layer and let's zoom in and you know design it as you want create some nice uh, roughing look to the text in my case I will uh, change the border to 6 and the edge sharpen we can set it to 2 great I think it looks very nice and we can uh, make this look even better by animating the evolution value to get uh, this uh, rough and edges to dance a little bit and to create some uh, grungy movement to this uh, rough and edges effect we can apply a time a time expression to the random seed property of this effect so open the evolution options and hold down the alt key or the option key on mag and click on the random seed and now you can type in the expression uh, text box time multiples uh, eight and it will create um, it will change the look of the rough and edges eight times in a, a second and it will look very very cool something like this great and we can do a very similar thing to the text inside the text precom so let's enter our text precom and this time it won't look uh, beautiful uh, with the rough and edges effect it will look uh, better with the turbulence turbulence displays effect 
so let's apply it to it and now we just need to adjust the turbulence displacing properties so first thing let's scale this the amount down to for now 20 and the size let's set it to 10 i think too much wavy so you know adjust these properties as you want so let's say this will be 10 and the size will be let's say yeah 10 as well i think it looks nice yeah so play around with these values so for example you can set the complexity to 2 something like this and it will look a little bit different and now to make this um, turbulence displaced to dense as we did for the rough and edges we can animate the random seed using the expression exactly as we did uh, with the rough and edges effect great and now we can go back to the master comp and add some nice uh, light sweep animation to this text for this uh, make sure no layer is selected and select the rectangle tool and let's uh, set the fill color to a solid color and um, choose a white color for this make sure the stroke is turned off now let's create a nice uh, rectangle something like this uh, let's select it, press R and rotate it, uh, let's say 10 degrees, like this. And let's create an animation for it, for the position property. So let's select it and press P. And uh, now in the beginning of the animation, uh, let's say uh, for, from here, in the beginning of animation, it will be here. And then after two seconds, it's going to be here now we can easily is uh, those keyframes like this and using the speed graph uh, editor we can adjust the animation of it to something like this let's see how that looks yeah I think it looks nice and now to make it uh, be visible only on the text layer all we need to do is we need um, to set this layer to use the alpha channels of this text layer like this all right we can bring it uh, down here so it will be below the rough and edges effect and now i want to create a, a sweep for the fill color we created here for the 3d look we created here for this we can uh, duplicate this layer using ctrl or command d and we need to set this layer to use the alpha channels of this precom all right but this time we will turn it on great and we can place it uh, here and now we can change the blending mode of this sweep to overlay and it will get a nice uh, red color because right now it's overlaying with the red color we created for the sprinkle and yeah it looks like this very very nice and to make it look uh, a little bit better we can let's zoom in a bit and we can delay this pre this sweep uh, one frame after the first sweep so it will look a little bit more in my opinion it looks uh, better like this yeah great and with this we have finished creating the uh, all the text animation and to finish things up we can pre-compose uh, this all these layers and let's call it text main com press ok and now we can create a new solid layer as a background let's call it pg and for this time let's set the color to black and let's use a gradient ramp effect to create some nice uh, gradient uh, background i uh, will use the radial ramp 
and for this color I actually choose uh, some uh, let's say some blue color something like this and for the second color I make it a uh, darker so like this now let's just move this anchor point the, the the black the darker color to the right this one we can leave here and uh, set the ramp scatter to 50 so uh, the gradient will uh, look uh, better when we render this uh, comb now we can bring this background below the text comb and to finish things up we can add a drop shadow effect to the text comb like this and we can make it look um, first let's scale the distance let's say 50 and let's set the opacity of this shadow to 30 something like this and it will look very very cool and if you want the sweep to come back uh, all the time you know not just once uh, you can enter this pre-comp and create an expression for the sweep let's press u and uh, create the loop out expression so let's uh, hold down the alt key and click on the stopwatch now we can use the ready-made expressions we have here so it will be the loop out cycle now this layer will be you know you it will make the same animation over and over again let's make the same for this one great yep so if you enjoyed this tutorial subscribe to my channel guys and like this video and I hope to see you in the next one.